as Syracuse fans were storming the floor of the Carrier Dome after, of all things, a football game as the Orangemen were celebrating their biggest win in decades over number 2 Clemson, one question popped up on the interwebs late Friday night. Will Dabo Swinney still come the Clemson coach and former Alabama player has been scheduled to fly to Tuscaloosa for tonight's celebration of Alabama's 1992 national championship team at the Crimson Tide's game against Arkansas. Clemson's rare Friday night game made it possible. The surprising upset loss to an unranked team made it, at least in some minds, debatable. Overall, Clemson fans may not see it this way, but there's no reason for their head coach to change plans. He should show up, cut up and enjoy an evening with old friends. Clemson has an open date next Saturday and doesn't play again for two weeks, so Swinney isn't missing any prep time for the next game against Georgia Tech. Staying home to sulk or powder stew about what went wrong the kind of thing overzealous fans do, would be ridiculous and serve no good purpose. Swinney has established himself as one of the best coaches in college football. He doesn't have to prove his dedication to his craft and his employer by locking himself in his room. All Clemson did Friday night was lose one football game. The Tigers did not eliminate themselves from returning to the college football playoff or defending their national championship. They almost certainly eliminated their margin for error, but look at recent history. Two years ago, when they ran the regular season table, they lost the national championship game to Alabama. Last season, they lost their 10th game to unranked Pitt at home in Death Valley, no less and still managed to beat Alabama in the rematch. It's not like Clemson lost to Syracuse because Swinney was distracted by the upcoming trip to Tuscaloosa. Clemson lost because starting quarterback Kelly Bryant went out with a concussion Brent Venable's stellar defense played its worst game of the year and Dino Babers is building something at Syracuse. Okay, so UAB's opponent today at Legion Field is the Middle Tennessee team that beat the Syracuse team that beat Clemson. That's college football. Clemson is 343 over the last two 12 seasons. The Tigers have played in the final game twice and won at once. When Bryant gets healthy, they'll be perfectly capable of finishing the regular season 111. Swinney's presence tonight in Bryant Denny Stadium will have zero impact on where Clemson goes from here. It was refreshing that Swinney decided to attend tonight's Alabama reunion in the first place and bring some other Clemson Tigers from that 1992 team with him. Some coaches might not do it because of the perceived optics, but Swinney's beyond caring about misguided perception. Some Alabama fans may not like it since Swinney and Clemson deprived the Crimson Tide of another national title. Some Clemson fans may not like it because they fear Alabama will try to hire Swinney when Nick Saban retires and Mama's call may be hard to resist. Some Clemson fans may like it even less after the unexpected events of Friday night. So what's Winnie was a part of something special at Alabama? Has a much, much, much bigger part of something special at Clemson. He did a masterful job balancing those loyalties. During the run-up to the last two national title games against his alma mater, he handled those rather momentous occasions with honesty, humor, and humility, and when it was time to focus, the results show he was Allen. He should be able to handle an evening with old friends. Besides, after what happened at the Carrier Dome, he probably could use a trip down memory lane to take his mind off things, if only for one night, 